Hi, today I'm gonna show you my base routine. So let's get into it. I Let's just like not waste any time. Laura Mercier Pure Canvas Blurring Primer. Um, a lot of the stuff in this is from Laura Mercier because I used to be on their PR list and it was good and fun until they took me off of it. So thanks. But yeah, I still have a lot of their stuff and I like to use it. And I've been really liking this primer lately, actually. I'm not a primer person because I feel like it um, nine times, actually 99 times out of 100, a primer doesn't do anything. Like I think they're just like an extra product. Like they're just trying to get your money. But this one's good. It blurred. And I have oily skin. Like all of a sudden my skin just like turned oily. Um, I think it's like my hormones are changing. But yeah. And I feel like it makes me not as oily. Especially like throughout the day. Then this is tint and moisturizer. I'm gonna go in with a brush. And this isn't really blending or putting it into the skin. Honestly, what I'm doing is just like spreading it out because as you saw, I just like plop it on my skin. Then I take the brush and just like swirl it all around just so that I can get a nice even application so that it can be everywhere. Yeah, has. Um, okay. Then, so it's like streaky right now because I just went with the brush. Taking a damp, this little butt of my beauty blender is damp. And that's when I'm gonna pat it, press it into my skin. Okay, that looks better. That color is a little yellow for me. I am quite cool toned. So, uh, but it's since it's a tint of moisturizer, it like shears out and then I make it work. Okay. Now I'm going to take my Glossier Stretch Concealer and we're just going to put that under my eye, I only use a little bit because my under eyes have a million folds and creases and wrinkles. I do not have a flat under eye. So if I put a bunch of concealer there, it goes, it just goes into the creases. Yay. But yeah, I do that. <laughs> then, since I have this little spot right here, we're going to spot conceal it with Laura, another Laura Mercier. This is Flawless Fusion Ultra Longwear Concealer. I'm gonna put, gonna put all of the products in the description just in case anyone cares. Then, going in with Kat Von D Lock It Whiteout Concealer. I'm very pale, so this is something that works for me. It's not gonna work for everyone, but it works for me. Yes. So just taking that white concealer, putting it under my eyes just to brighten my under eye. And then I'm just putting a dot and I'm just gonna blend it in a triangle shape. Remember when everyone would put like a, their concealer like <laughs> We don't have to do that. You can just put a dot, but if you do like that under eye shape, just put a dot and then blend it in that shape. Bam, easy peasy lemon squeezy. Okay, and since there are so many little folds in my under eye, I have to set immediately. So, taking the dry little dibbity end of my beauty blender, dipping it into setting powder, and I'm not going to bake. All I'm going to do is I'm going to press this under my eye. Press, 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 press. And I'm not going to leave it there. I'm just going to really just pat that in so it can go into my skin and absorb. Why does that look <laughs> good AF? 
now we've let this set for a little bit let's just give it another second to dry off and i'm going to blend it with this little flat brush and i'm just going to go around the edges i'm not going to go directly on top of the little pimple just around the edges and then the best brush in the world my finger and just pat that in again around the edges slip now for contour i use fenty beauty amber matchstick um as a very pale person it is hard to find a good contour shade like i like this this is the best one i've used yet it's still not perfect i'm still searching for the perfect contour stick but yeah okay underneath my cheekbone right here on my forehead slash temple because i want to push that back and then this is how i do my nose contour i go line line out out and then underneath i do a little v this is a shape that works for my nose maybe it works for yours maybe it doesn't it's important when you're trying to figure out your nose contour not like to be like oh this person has a nose that looks nothing like mine let me ask for their nose contour routine that's not going to help you the best thing that helped me was literally just looking at my nose looking at what i wanted to do to it i wanted to make it slimmer i wanted to make it seem less bulbous i think that's the right word so then i figured out this is what i do right now maybe it'll change maybe it won't i've been doing it for a while though so and i like it but yeah i'm honestly not a huge fan of like the super obvious nose contours i like a i like a more natural one like you know people are like oh my god what's your nose contour routine you don't need a tutorial you can see it it's it's not blended so you can literally see exactly what they did no hate though to blend out my contour taking this little brush and then i'm going to blend in circular motions going up onto the cheekbone this is because your cheekbone is a cylinder. I want the top of my cylinder slash cheekbone to be the lightest point and the bottom of it to be the darkest. So we fade upwards. I'm not gonna blend downwards. That's not gonna give me the look that I want. We're blending up. Look at that. Slide. And then this, I wanna make sure I'm blending into the hairline. I don't want it to just be like, oh, that just came, that shadow just came out of nowhere. It just appeared on her face. No, no, it's coming from within. It's just there. With this same brush, going in with my milk makeup, lip and cheek, thing and i'm not gonna go in and be like boop, 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 because that's gonna disturb everything i've already done i'm just gonna go in with my brush on the apples of my cheeks and blend it into the contour and a little bit on my nose okay you could stop here this looks good this looks nice but i'm not going to do that um what i like to do since everything i just used was a cream and then i did powder my under eyes just because i have to but everything i just used was a cream let's set it with that product but powder form kind of let me just let me just show you let's take some bronzer 
Hi. <laughs> Hi. And let's set my contour with bronzer. I'm not going to do another contour. But yeah. So I take this brush and I'm just going lightly bronzing the perimeter of my face. For my nose, I'm going to go in with this old as Too Faced Cocoa Contour Palette. And I'm going to take the shade Medium Cocoa. This is a good contour shade for me. Thanks. Thanks for discontinuing it. Um, and let's just go over my nose contour. For blush. This is what we're working with. Why did I get... Okay, sorry, I got an email. Going in with this blush, Ciate London. It's like a blush highlight. Pat, tap. And when I do my powder... Sorry, there's like black dust flying everywhere. <laughs> I'm gonna go... Like this like coming from my hairline onto my cheek. And I like a little bit on my forehead too. <laughs> oh, no, what I forgot is I like to do, take it, I have a fresh NYX jumbo pencil and milk. Let's just do a little nose action. Put it on the tip, put it on here and blend that out this is like i don't know like i this like went viral on tiktok but i've actually been doing it for longer, longer. longer. <sighs> it's just like something that works for me like i think that looks really cute um okay this looks good something this is optional i mean everything in this is optional but i like to add freckles so uh hi <laughs> i'm gonna take my going coconuts palette this little tiny liner brush i'm gonna wet this line okay this is like just just trust it guys i'm wetting my liner brush get it wet going in with uh, this shade right here, Coolada. Use whatever shade, brown, whatever. You could use, you could use a, another, you don't have to use brown. You could use pink or orange. You could use whatever color your little heart desires. But this is a shade that I think works for me and my skin tone. But yeah, I just dot them. The best advice because I've been doing fake freckles for many years. I've had many trials and tribulations with them. The best advice I've gotten though is that freckles live in little families. They're not just like boop, 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 boop. They live in little groups. So once I started doing my freckles like that lived in little groups, I feel like that helped everything. Then I pat them out if they're too dark. That looks so Kitty. I'm gonna do my brows, eyes, lips. I'm also gonna like get ready, like do my hair and like get dressed. And then I'll show you the final results. Here is my final look. I look good. So I don't know how like how to end this. Like, okay, here's how, here's how I look. Take a look. Enjoy. Bye.